Now, those of you that have uh, model trains will know how expensive some of the scenery can be. It's quite honestly ridiculous, isn't it? At the end of, uh, well, maybe the start of this year, our local do-it-yourself superstore was selling these off. Little bottle brush trees. And if you bought the same thing for model railways, you'd pay a, a frigging bomb for it. It's ridiculous. Of course, the only thing is, they're silver. They had quite a lot of these things, and they were ridiculously cheap at the uh, do-it-yourself thing. So, the obvious solution is just to spray them green. And you can see from the ones in the background, But they don't look half bad when they're done. I'm doing it out here in my uh, lean-to come conservatory because the smell of this stuff is uh, quite epic, shall I say. And there we are. That doesn't look half bad. If you stand some more behind it when you do it, the overspray goes onto them, I suppose. Never thought of that. There isn't very much left in this tin, but uh, we'll give it our best shot. And the bases, which are made of wood, of course, are perfect for holding them straight while you're doing this. sure you try and cover as much of the uh, glittery bits as you can. It doesn't matter if it doesn't all get done. After all, pine trees do sparkle a bit in the winter sun anyway, don't they, with the frost? Let's turn that one round a bit more. Yeah, oh yeah, there we are. There. Not looking too green yet. Oh, yes, that's better. I think these things cost me... I think the small ones were 25p and the big ones were a pound. And the medium ones, well, they were probably 50. I really can't remember. But you see, you've got quite a little forest coming here. Anyway... More mad adventures coming soon, but you wouldn't expect anything except mad on this channel, would you? Bye for now.